everybody it's your boy king and in this video i will be giving you guys a deep look into that desk behind me that's my current setup so let's take a look at it um this is not a review about the desk i mean you probably got videos out there that tells you all the dimensions and all this stuff i want to show you guys how good the desk is how big it is and what kind of monitors you can put in it if it's worth it or not having it whatever question you have regarding the space the quality and things like that for this desk so let's get it started if you have any questions if you learn anything about this video give it a like subscribe we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and i'll be doing more of the things i have here that i use if you see anything that you like while i'm doing this video comment let me know i'll tell you all about it i can make uh videos of reviewing whatever you see it here that i have so let's get it started thank you for watching subscribe hello hello ladies and gentlemen here we are so like i said in the intro this is going to be a deep look into this desk it's called a rocker bug bed um yeah so let's get right into it this right here don't be looking at my mess i mean i have a lot of stuff on top top of the bed underneath the bed everything because this is just to look at the inside of it the the gaming part of it that you will be using on top you have your regular your regular bunk bed situation this this bed is the same dimensions of any regular bunk bed yeah, I think it is 71 um, long, uh, height is about 90, and I think width is about 20 plus or 41, something like that. I'm not sure. You can look that up in the, um, I'll put the description below uh, where to get this bed. Anyways, the inside is what we want to look at, the gaming part of it. By the way, this desk is very sturdy. It's uh, all metal, all metal. You can build this by yourself, but it's gonna take, it's a little challenging by yourself, doing it by yourself, because as you can see, you have long pieces that go all the way across. So for example, that long piece in the back, you have to put it yourself and either somebody has to hold it in one corner while you put the screws on the other one, or you have to put something underneath to hold it while you put the screws on the other side so those are the challenges part of the bed if you're doing it by yourself now when it comes to gaming this is the desk you still have a lot of space underneath i have my computer right here at the bottom i have uh, two stools that i put my feet on i have a um, storage little thing there that i put a lot of wires and controllers whatever i do have um, for my gaming stuff and this is my kid's um, chest. He has a lot of toys in there. That's what I have on top of the bed as well. He's not using it right now. So he has his toys on top. Um, yeah, so let's look into the, the game and stuff. First of all, you will not be hitting your head on top of this on top of this, um, this bed. Unless you have a really high chair. This is my gaming chair right here. I'll show you. This is my gaming chair um it's like a regular chair you know and my head is way away from the top of the bed that's that's first and foremost so you have the shelf this this wood thing it's not like you know like really wood wood it's that uh the fake wood that they do but it's really really strong it's not gonna break it's not going anywhere it's it's pretty good you have the metal holding it. Everything, like I said, everything in this bed is metal. So all these parts is metals that hold the shelves. The only wood part is the shelves itself. And the shelf is pretty good. It's it's very big. Um, look at my hands. It's about opening my hand up. It's almost touching the, the thing. So you have a lot of space to put whatever you want on top of this thing. Um, uh, obviously I have to set it up, right? I just bought this, um, this digital frame 
you can put whatever here. I have it rotated a few um, emojis for my kid. He likes that. So if you want me to review that as well, I could do that. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, digital frame. Now, looking on the inside more and looking at the desk part, this is what you have. This is the desk. It comes in two pieces, right? So it divides like this. You can see the, the back part and the front part. And it makes a big, big desk. Um, you have a lot of space here to put whatever you want. The monitors that I currently have, they are not even all the way to the back. Um, for example, this monitor here is a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor. 34-inch ultra-wide is on the stand. It has a stand and it's as low as it could be from the stand, right? Some stands will let you go drop it all the way to the, to the desk. This one doesn't let me do that. So the monitor fits perfectly and it's still underneath the metal. You can um you can fit it underneath the metal being on the stand. So you still have space that for example, if it wouldn't fit underneath the metal, I could put it a little bit forward and it will be in front of the metal, but still underneath this top shelf. So I still got space for that. This one here is a 27 inch monitor. And it's also underneath the metal. Now for this one, I think I threw away the stand, so I didn't have a stand. I had an arm, right, that I cur that I had on my previous desk. And I was a little worried because in the back of the desk here, you have two um, uh, covers, let's say. Those covers in the back, it's like this, those things. And they go all across the desk and they screw on each side. So I didn't know how I was going to put the, um, the arm itself because the cover comes all the way to the desk right here. So what I did it was I unscrewed the, the covers in the bottom corner. That one cover right there, I un uh, unscrew it in the bottom corner on each side and that let me push it back. So that way I was able to fit the arm. So you can put the arm, just be aware that you will have to do that, unscrew it from the bottom. So you can actually push it back. Let me see if I can show you guys. You can actually push it back and fit the arm in there. Otherwise you won't be able to do it. Or you can have the choice of not having that cover there at all. That is just for, like if you want to, it's not necessary. I could take both of those covers things up and have it open, a open um, look into my wall in the back. You know, same thing with this size. This is just for look. You could take this off, take this one off. They're not holding anything. It's just for look. And you can have a wide open look into your wall or whatever it is that you have on, on that side. Now, I would say that helps a lot with the light from the windows like i have a window right here so if i open this window right here a lot of sun come in it's very very uncomfortable for the monitors um the reflection is insane so this particular things make it darker and covers the sun now some people like a lot of light on the on their setups coming from the you know natural light so if that's you, you can take that off any any time. Now, when you get this this desk, it comes in two boxes and they are really heavy. Comes in two boxes. One box will be a long box holding this long pieces, all of them, and one box will be a shorter box about the size of the shelves holding all these small pieces. Uh, putting it together is very easy. Um, they give you good instructions and like I said, you could do it yourself, but it's going to be a little challenging. If you have another person with you, it's going to be a breeze. And I think that's about it. It has the stair right here, pretty good. And yeah, the it comes also with this at the bottom to put the computer. You know, I still have to fix some cables and stuff issues, but I just wanted to give you guys an 
overview of the desk and of the bed if you call it bed or desk or whatever and what to expect out of it you can fit anything you want in here it's pretty damn good one one thing i gotta say don't uh don't try to put a, too much of a big monitor here because unless you want it all the way in front of your face you can actually fit like for example if this i had to stand for it i can make it put it right here and go in front of it instead of pushing it back but then it's going to be like right here to the desk and the space was would not be too great you would be very close to it but the way i have it is pushed in it's still on the arm this one is on the stand also pushed back i have a really 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 good space to pretty much do whatever also i just bought this lamp right here that's the goof lamp i don't know what the hell that shit's called it's um goofy goof it's right here it changes colors um with my back led lights it's the same brand so they work together it has an application so if you want me to review that and show you what it could do i could do that as well and there we go boys and girls thank you for watching hope you like this if you did subscribe give it a thumbs up and uh that's my current setup because i don't have a lot of room in my kid room so that's what i'm playing and this works crazy good it um eliminated my desk that i had so now i have a lot more space in the room it's a really good desk i'm loving it and i would recommend it have a good day enjoy thank you for watching